Audrey's matter came up for mention today after she filed the suit earlier in the month. In her suit, Audrey accuses the Kenya National Examination Council of refusing to effect the change of names despite giving her hope that it will do so. She says the council's refusal was tantamount to failing in its statutory duty and was unfair and unjustified. The council's refusal has also caused her to suffer distress and depression due to the daily stigma of being unable to secure employment. Audrey sat for her KCSC exams as a man and was issued with her certificate in 2001. She was thereafter diagnosed with gender identity disorder, a formal diagnosis used by psychologists and physicians to describe persons who experience significant gender discontent or otherwise known as transsexualism. Audrey was treated at Mathare Hospital and changed her name from Andrew Mbogwa to Audrey to match her gender identity. She then embarked on the process of changing the particulars of her national identity card, passport and education certificates so as to reflect the changed status. The Examination Council on its part said it is yet to develop a policy to provide for change of name for persons who have undergone the gender change so as to make adequate arrangements for certificate of such individuals who have submitted prerequisite evidence. The matter will be mentioned again on the 6th of August. Uh, is that necessary? Yes. Yeah. What do you do? What do you do? Ngari Kanyongo reporting for Channel 1 News.